Happy Sabbath, church family. I trust everyone is keeping well and had a good week. I pray that this Sabbath, you will find peace from all the noise of the outside world. This week, I would like to share some extracts from Finding Peace in a Troubled World by Neville Mandy. But first, let's open with a word of prayer. Good morning, church. May we all please close our eyes for the opening prayer. Lord God, Help me worship you with an undistracted heart. Reveal to me the wonders of your word and deepen my faith and joy in the glories of your gospel. Amen. Chapter 7 Infinite Grace Ephesians 1 verse 7 In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of His grace. What exactly does it mean? to be in Jesus, or in other words, to be in Him. When Jesus died, He died as the representative of humanity. This enabled the Father to consider the substitutionary death of Jesus as though it were all of humanity dying in consequence of their sin. Thus we may rejoice in the fact that the death of our sin has been paid in full. For as far as the Father is concerned, we, humanity, died in Him. When the Father accepted Jesus as victor over sin, He accepted Him as as the representative of humanity. This enabled the Father to accept the victory of our substitute as, as though it were the victory of all humanity. Thus, we may rejoice in the fact that, that we are accepted as victorious. Not because we are victorious, but because our compassionate Father accepts humanity as victorious in Him. When the Father declared that He was well pleased with His Son, He spoke these words to Jesus as the representative of humanity. Thus, we may rejoice in the fact that we have a glorious substitute, and that we, as humanity, though fallen, are pleasing to the Father in Him. May we please bow it for the closing prayer. Lord, Your Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank You that we can live in Your light and walk in Your truth. May the things that You have revealed and thoughts that we have shared dwell in our hearts and stir us to action. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Come with us to Russia and discover how an Adventist school is changing the lives of youth. Masha was discouraged and the future seemed dreary. This broke her mom's heart and she had an idea. She asked Masha if she'd like to attend Zaokski Christian School, a Seventh-day Adventist day and boarding school. Masha wanted a new start with new people, so she said yes, but she was still lonely at her new school. She didn't know how to make friends. But then some of her classmates reached out to her, and one student told her how she could have a personal relationship with Jesus. Finding a quiet place, Masha poured out her heart to God. From that moment on, Masha's life hasn't been the same. She now has a savior and friend that she can trust. Zaokski Christian School has been operating in Russia since 1993, and many students have been blessed by Adventist education. There are many advantages. The food is good here. The second plus is that the teachers here are all happy. They treat their students well. But most importantly, Many students come to know Jesus as their Savior, just like Masha did. I've worked in the elementary school with the preschoolers and see how the little children who haven't even heard about God come to us after hearing about Him and are very happy. Their eyes shine when they begin to believe that God helps them with all of their difficulties in everything that they do. When the school began, there were only four teachers and a few students. The school used classrooms on the campus of Zaokski Adventist University. 
The number of students gradually grew, and today we have 200 students. In fact, we don't do any advertising at school or in the village. People talk about our school themselves. The school has a good reputation, good reviews from parents and children who graduated from our school. Zaokski Christian School's popularity has created a new challenge – space. Since we can't accept more children, they can't receive a Christian education. Therefore, we need a new building for the elementary school. A portion of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help Zaokski Christian School construct its own school building on the campus of the Adventist University. Currently, the school borrows classrooms from the university, and your offering will help the children meet in their own classrooms. Thank you for your generous support of Adventist education in Russia. It's changing the lives of children like Masha. Masha.